Said it time and time again I, I think they're useless I, I know some people really like them I personally don't get any benefit I, I don't do unboxings here's a box if you want to look at it I'm gonna put it right here in the side but this is what you want to see you want to see the product and, and I've used it and I want to talk about it okay so this is uh Behringer BDJ 1000s and uh, let me give you guys just a quick uh, run why I bought these um, as you guys know um, from my previous uh, videos, I bought the HPX 6000s and I used those for about a year and I just wore them out. They're, they're done. <laughs> so I killed them. So I was going to buy those and I was a little bit bored and I said, well, maybe I'll go a little bit higher end. But just curiosity got me and, um, and I went back and, and looked at headphones and I saw Behringer had these uh, for $24.95. $24.95 but um I read the specs on them and um, what got me was this is a 57 millimeter driver in here and um and I was like wow how bad can they be first of all the price $24.95 and it has a 57 millimeter driver so curiosity got me okay so <laughs> so I went for it so so I got them I took them out of the box, okay? Again, sorry if you like unboxings. And um, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you what I didn't like, okay? Um, and, and I try to see uh, on the uh, pictures from the uh, from Z-Zounds is where I got these. And I try to see if uh, the aux cable was detachable and if it had that plug that I like, the 90 degree ones, which I reviewed already on the other ones, and it didn't, okay? So that was a disappointment. Um, I wasn't looking for, for metal uh, plates and etching like the other ones do, uh, but it would have been nice, but, but they're not. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. I was disappointed, boohoo. Uh, I'm over it, okay? Again, $24.95. Uh, <laughs> so I took these bad boys on the road and started using them. They performed really well. I really liked them. And a uh, few things that, that I liked that were very similar to, to the other headphones that I had previously is that I love that it has the gel pad up here. And uh, what, that is, what that does for me, again, I, I've said I'm 6'3", I'm, I'm, I'm really tall. Uh, in turn, I have a big head. And so these sit really well. I, I love that they actually go completely around my, they contour around my head and they actually reach the bottom of my earlobes, which is, you know, issues that I've had with, with other uh, headphones. These ones uh, feel great. They, I think they look really cool. Um, they, uh, they perform really well. They isolate the sound really well. That made me really happy as well. I thought, man, these things are gonna be bleeding, but they don't. Um, I love that, they're, that the uh, ear muff is actually smooth. So it's not that wrinkly one. Now I don't know. It's a mental thing. I'm sure they're clean. I just I, I hate it. These ones I can just wipe them uh, down at the end of the night. They're still stitched around and stuff, but they they feel really good. Um, I did notice that when I when I shift these, when I go, when I do that, the the actual. Uh, um, ring the muff the the padding it actually spins around i don't know if that's a design thing or i don't know i thought it was weird i've never had headphones that did that but it works for me because i mean it's it, it doesn't friction on my ear i don't i don't have to if i'm uncomfortable or just want to move them from just having them here and i just want to do this i can do it um i fidget when i'm when i'm playing or if you know if i you know if i don't know if i want to change positions of it i, I can do it i just I just thought that was cool. Um, also, these actually have really good uh, moving features. I mean, they they fold really well. They fold in, they fold out, they flip over, which is what I always want for DJ headphones. Um, another thing that I that I do want to point out is that these things sound great. 
They're great. I mean, I put these things, I mean, through the ringer. Um, I'm, I'm also a sound person. So when, when I'm DJing, I'm constantly going out, looking at sound, uh, experimenting with the bass, with the, with the mids, with the highs. But then also when I'm mixing, I want the, how, the, the sound to be pristine. And, and the sound is definitely pristine. It definitely uh, gives me a great reference. It, 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 they work really well. Um, one little concern that I that I have um, is that that the uh, that the swivel here seems to be plastic, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I can actually see it in there and stuff, but I mean I don't see it breaking. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, but but they do work great and they sound great. They feel great. Um, they look great. I mean they they look really nice. Um, I, I like them. Um, they have the they called the long aux cable, which is awesome. I mean, that's what you want. You don't want something that's super short and, you know, especially again, I'm 6'3". So, you know, I don't want anything super short. Um, I do move around a lot. I, I can check in, in, in all the way to where my subs are in the front. I can go around my table, look at everything, go under, take a look, uh, mess with my DMX, my lights, and um, no problem. I, I don't have any issues. So, so that's really nice. And um, I, I've been really happy with them. They're working really well. Um, I did notice that this is uh, stereo, but it's only two ring, but it is gold tip. Um, the quarter inch does screw on, which is awesome as well. So it won't easily, you won't lose it or anything like that. Um, I have mine put away, so I don't want to unpack it. I, um, I actually have been using these headphones so much that uh, whenever I've been uh, either practicing uh, or just listening to new music, which I do a lot, um, I, I like listening to these ones. Um, usually I have another set that's uh, Bluetooth and I don't have to deal with this, but I just, I, I've been really enjoying these. So um, I hope this helps you. I hope you, you've you been enjoying uh, the videos, uh, especially this one on the BDJ 1000 from Behringer. Here's the box again. <laughs> Here's the other side. Uh, uh, they're great, great set for only $24.95. So if, if you're looking for Quality, budget, uh, good, good uh, headphones, DJ headphones, professional quality. Get these. You'll be really happy with them. Um, will I ever get uh, some HPX 6000s? I don't know. I'm, I, I I bought two of these. Uh, so I have two sets, one for uh, for the DJ in training and one for myself. Um, I don't know if I'll get a, another set. Maybe something else will come out. I'm, I'm always looking... Um, I'm always looking at other brands. Uh, it just Behringer is always, you know, really, really good on, on price point. So um, I, I have changed some of my gear and um, hopefully I'll review some of the new gear that I have and you guys will like it. If you're just getting started, uh, this would be a great starter set. If if you've been doing it for years, get these. I, I have I'm, and, I, and I am a stickler for sound. So uh, don't be afraid to buy these. Uh, again, it's the Behringer BDJ 1000s. Don't be shy. Get these. Uh, continue to uh, to experiment with different things, and and that's what I'm doing. And, and I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, that my reviews are well for you guys, spreading the uh, the knowledge. Uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, please put comments down or any uh, doubts you might have, or even just a constructive criticism. I'm happy to hear it. Um, I appreciate it. A few people have asked me a few questions, and see what a constructive criticism, but it's fine. No problem. Um, I've been trying to answer everybody in a timely manner. So I, I look forward to hearing from you guys. And, and please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I really appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to making another video for you guys. Again, this is DJ Noah Michelle. And I will see you soon.